Hi, this is Carl from tenniscoachblog.com and this is video two of showing you how to create a website for your small business, particularly a tennis coaching business. And if you haven't seen video one, then you can find that on YouTube or on my website tenniscoachblog.com. So in the first video, I showed you how to buy a domain name and to buy hosting and that actually cost less than $10 for all of that and that's actually the total cost that you're going to pay you'll be, you'll be paying just under four dollars a month for the hosting and the website uh, the domain name is something you only pay for once a year and it's under ten dollars and those are the only things you're going to pay for so it really is very cheap to do it this way so um, we went through buying a domain name and buying your hosting and we also installed the site using WordPress so hopefully you've done all that. If you've had any problems at all with that, then please do contact me at tenniscoachblog.com and I'll do my best to help you with it. So we're going to now carry on with this process and we're going to start to put the site together. So let's go to the site itself. There it is, superstarstennis.info. And here it is. Now, the first thing we need to do is log in to the, to the admin of this site, basically. And with any WordPress site, the way you do that is you add this onto the end. Forward slash WP dash admin. And that takes you to here. And you might remember I, I um, created... A username which I think was Carl or an admin name. I think it was admin actually. Admin. I use the password one two three four five six, which you definitely shouldn't do, by the way. Think of a better one. Now we're into this, the dashboard, which is basically where we where we do all the work on a, on a WordPress website. So in this video, we're not going to add any content in this video. We're just going to kind of set up the video, set up the, the, the website, get everything ready to add the content and get it all set up correctly. So this might be a bit boring, but um, it's only going to take five, 10 minutes. And then in the next video, we'll actually start adding the content. So the first thing um, here on the left, you can see where it says appearance. I'm going to click on that, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the theme. And the great thing about WordPress is that there are thousands of different themes for it. Some of them are paid, and some of them are free, and we're going to be using a free one. And um, the different themes do different things, basically. They have different looks, different layouts, have different features. And that's the great thing about WordPress, and you can actually change the theme at any time. So you can see I clicked on, clicked on appearance, and that's automatically gone to the themes section. If it doesn't do that, it's just here on the left. And I'm going to go to install themes. And the theme we're going to use, you can see there's a box here where you can search for themes if you know them by name, or down here you can, there's various ways that you can search for different themes. But I know the name of the one we're going to use. It's this, Z Synergy. So we're just going to search for that. And simply click install. Click install now. And that's installed. And all I have to do now is activate it by pressing activate. And that's done. And you can see here where it says Superstars Tennis Program, the name of my site. If I click on that, I'm going to open it in a new window, actually. There you can see the new theme has been installed. Now, here you'll see it's added some options for that theme on the left here. So I'm going to click on that. And we're just going to do some things with these options. First of all, with you can add a logo here if you've got a logo. 
But if you remove this logo, which I'm doing here, I'm just deleting that, um, that URL there, then that's just going to remove the logo that uh, came with the site. Um, you, as I said, you could add a logo if you want to, but I'm going to leave it blank. Footer content, this is a good place to add the address and phone number of your tennis program. Actually, let's say of your of your business. And here under theme style you can see we can change the colour of the theme. And I've used this blue theme, which I think is very good for a tennis coaching business. Um, you can leave a lot of these things as they are. Here we have the social media buttons, which are pretty useful. So I'm going to check to activate these. And I would leave the email one because we're going to do a contact us page, which is a separate thing. But all of these you, you can add Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, any of these that you have, you can add the address. So, for instance, um, my Facebook page for my tennis coaching program is Facebook forward slash Oxshot. Tennis coaching. If I just save the changes, I'll, I'll show you a few of these things as, as they appear on the website. So if I go back to the website and just refresh the page, there we go, we've got the blue theme now, which looks good. You can see the Facebook icon has been added, and if I'd, if I'd added information for my Twitter and LinkedIn and stuff like that, then those logos would be added too. So you can see this is starting to look like a website now. A couple of other things we're going to do. First of all, we're just going to add a few pages, although we're not going to add any content to them yet. So I've clicked on pages. In fact, there's a sample page there, so I'm going to tick and move to trash. Apply that because we don't need that sample page. But here you can see I can add a new page. And I'm just going to add now some of the pages that we're going to want. All, we can change all of this later, but um, it's going to help us to have a few pages in place. So we're going to put group coaching. And just publish. So that's done. Add new again. Tennis camps. Publish. Add new again. The team. Under group lessons, we're going to want a few sub pages. So let's have junior group lessons. Juniors, 10 to 18. These are just very rough ideas off the top of my head, and we, we can change all of this, and you can set these up however you like, but you're going to see why it's useful to have these pages in place because um, it's going to help us to set things up in the right way. Let's just do one more mini tennis to 10. Okay. Now under appearance, we're going to go to menus and type of menu, we can just put 
pin you want and go to create menu then over here on the left we're going to select that menu and save it and there you can see down here it lists our pages and all we have to do is tick them like this add to menu now over here in fact let's just do a if I go to save I'll just show you how this is looking so far let's go back to our website and refresh it there we go in place of um, sample page we've deleted that there are our pages but actually I want some of them to be sub pages for instance juniors and mini tennis are going to be sub pages of group coaching so all I need to do is drag it down here and then just move it across like this there we go let's save that and refresh and now there you go, you can see group coaching has these sub pages. I can click on these, they just don't have any content yet. Let's just click on the Superstars Tennis Program logo, that takes us home. And here you can do anything you like with these pages, you can just drag them to change the location of them, you can make any of them sub pages of other sub pages. I could drag this mini tennis one along one more. I'll just show you the effect this has. That that is now a sub page of the juniors page. So you, so very easy to move these around exactly as you wish. Okay. So we've picked the theme of our site, we've chosen the color of it, we've put a few pages in place and we can add a lot more pages and finally we're just going to do a couple of things and then wrap up the video so we go back into the dashboard under settings we are going to go to general and uh, sorry we're going to go to permalinks here and to change this to we're just going to click this one post name and this makes the pages at the top look nice and tidy. Um, it might say superstarstennis.info slash juniors or something like that rather than all squiggles and dots and dashes and stuff like that. So that makes your site look a lot better. So change this here to post name. By the way, if your WordPress looks any different to mine, for instance, this post name here, uh, this option in here, it might just mean that you, that you need to update your WordPress. So here at the top of the, where it says dashboard, you can see there's a section which says updates. I've got the latest version of um, WordPress, but if you haven't, it will tell you, and you can just press a button which says update. So that's just in case anything looks different on your web, WordPress to mine. So we've changed the permalinks to make them look a lot nicer. Oh, sorry, I haven't done it. I'm just going to change it here to post name. Um, under general settings, funnily enough, with WordPress, it doesn't give your site a www dot name. So I'm just changing that because I think that just is, is normal for a website. So I'm going to save that. And when you do that, it actually asks you to log in to your admin panel again. I think it's going to do that. There it's asked me to log in again, but I won't do that. I will leave the video for now and uh, see you in the next video where we'll start to add content to the website.